హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ సమగ్ర శిక్షా సిద్ధిపేట్ ప్రజెంట్స్ అవర్ వర్ల్డ్ త్రూ ఇంగ్లీష్ క్లాస్ ఎయిట్ యూనిట్ సిక్స్ పేజ్ ఎయిటీ సెవెన్ ఏ రీడింగ్ ద స్టోరీ ఆఫ్ ఇక్కత్ బెల్ ర్యాంక్ ఫర్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ ద స్మాల్ బ్రేక్ బిఫోర్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్ వాజ్ ఇనఫ్ ఫర్ ద చిల్డ్రన్ they moved around and started chatting the mandatory 5 minutes were over and the teacher did not come the children started wondering ramya do you think janaki teacher is absent ramya looking out of the classroom said how do i know a few students were grinning everyone knew Ramya loved Janaki teacher who taught them social studies Suddenly they noticed the teacher carrying bundles of cloth walking towards the class A few of them dashed to help her They all liked her as she was fair to everyone and was never partial to one student the brilliant red and black checked rumals shawls with black and blue geometric patterns caught the attention of the class as the teacher handed over the material to the eager helpers she pinned them neatly on the soft board and the drab class suddenly looked vibrant teacher what are these fabrics Why did you bring them? Children pelted her with questions. She smiled and wrote on the blackboard, Textiles of India, Ikat of Andhra Pradesh. No one could spell Ikat. Someone yelled Ikat and few children giggled. Janaki teacher said it is pronounced I as in it. ka as in kamala and t as th in both ikat is an indonesian term meaning to bind or not the class fell silent ramya asked teacher are these fabrics from indonesia teacher shook her head and said children can anyone remember seeing designs like this Raghava said teacher the pattern on the rumal is similar to the one on my mother's sari though the colors are not the same janki was pleased she persisted can anyone tell me the name of the place it is close to our state capital there i gave you a clue the children started shouting names of all the towns in the state in the midst of the babel someone said nalagonda and the teacher said correct it is pochampalli village in nalagonda district everyone immediately connected to the name teacher we forgot we could not link we all know pochampalli teacher said quite Let me tell you the story of Ikat. It is a story of our handlooms. What are handlooms? Ahmed was the first to voice the question in everyone's mind. Teacher gazed around the class and said, "A hand operated loom which weaves and has been weaving fabrics for centuries. In the race with the machine we have forgotten our heritage she fell silent and the children recognized her pensive mood and kept silent someone hesitantly asked teacher you mentioned the story of ikat page 88 janaki began it is called chitki in telugu patola in gujarati and simply ikat in oriya children's attention was divided between her words and the fabrics as she opened a silk patola sari from patna 
Gujarat. It had a red design on a black background with rows of flowers in the border. The simple leaf design repeated across the body and the flowers in the border created a mesmerizing effect. The teacher said, Are you thinking about the word ikat or tie and dye? While you are looking at the fabrics, what can be the origin of this word? No one answered but looked expectantly as she continued. In hand weaving, we have threads stretched lengthwise called warp and threads intersecting them widthwise called weft. Imagine the graph sheet and the x-axis and the y-axis and how they crisscross to form square motifs. Ahmed was excited. Teacher warp is stretched along y-axis and weft along x-axis. The class was thrilled as a new understanding came. Page 89 Janaki said in Ikkat, the threads are carefully sorted, warp and weft divided into bundles, then tied with locally available waterproof materials like plastic sheets, rubber strips from car and bicycle tires, then dropped into color. Once you untie the knots, you can see white threads dotted with color at intervals. Ravi said, Teacher, how do they know where to tie the knots? Janki smiled. The ties indicate the design we want. We can look at a design or a motif and a tie. Ravi looked puzzled. It did not seem simple. Ravi, you are absolutely right, the teacher said. It is not easy. First you count the threads, measure the distance, calculate when to repeat a pattern. Only then you can tie the knots. Teacher, it seems like difficult maths, Ramya said. Correct. Weavers may not be formally educated, but have complex calculations at their fingertips. They draw patterns on the graphs and copy them on the threads. Janki continued. Just close your eyes and imagine threads stretched out long with dots of different colors shining. I have seen such a sight in villages of Nalagonda, someone said. Teacher, the dots are like raindrops. Chukka, that is how the name Chitki Rumal. This was the favorite headgear of fishermen and other laborers. It was also the towel on the shoulders of traders in Gujarat. She suddenly thought of another explanation. She asked children, when you have to measure a small quantity of a material, you use a specific word in Telugu. This time, Ramya answered promptly, Chitkedu. And before she completed, comprehension was written large on every child's face. Teacher, chitki means small and small dots of color which are characteristic of ikkat. They chorused. The class was jubilant. They were able to come up with an original explanation for a historical phrase. When trade was vigorous with other nations in Southeast Asia, tie and dye or chitki as lengths of fabric was a favorite export item, both in silk and cotton, she said. There are other interesting stories on ikat. Different regions fight about its origin. 
did it travel from gujarat to the south or vice versa did it first originate in the coastal belt of page 90 andhra pradesh and travel to nalagonda there is no systematic historical documentation to resolve this dispute the class was fully attentive now for raksha bandhan the tying of the knot was done by yellow and red ikhat dyed threads in our tradition tying the knot is sacred maybe this has a relation to tying and dyeing process but in parts of gujarat maharashtra and deccan designs in ikhat were very much influenced by muslim culture the bell was ringing but the class was lost in a period where vibrant colors and compelling stories were woven into beautiful fabrics dr b shama sundari